Greetings, my fellow captains. Welcome back to Ross Grease Gaming, and today we're going to be talking about again another update on the American light cruiser line that is coming out on the way to warships. Um, currently, it's about one to two patches away, so clearly we need to start getting talking about this because we're getting more and more information about this. So, hence why we're showing off to Cleveland. But I already have the numbers already sitting here on the side, so. Let's talk about the new tier 6 that's coming in. And I got a photo bit right here and worship page here. I'm going to drag this over so you guys can see. This is the new tier 6 that they're working on currently. Uh, this is, as they call it, um, well, <laughs> this is what they call the new tier 6, Dallas. Now, it's interesting kind of with the numbers we got here. So, um, it's just going to have hit points apparently of uh, 2,800 to 28,800. Uh, sorry. Blech. She's going to have hit points of 28,300 with a plating of 16 overall. Armor belt of uh, 89 millimeters. A torpedo reduction of only 4%. She's going to have. Uh, two twins and two triple turrets, as you can see on this ship, of the 152mm guns. Firing range is 14.3. Each e shells cause 2200 22 damage with the fire chance at 12%. 3200 with the AP reload at 10 seconds, these guns. And the turning circle for these is from 180 uh, tw 22.5 seconds. Maximum dispersion is 132 meters. Uh, each E velocity is 812 meters a second. AP is 762, so it's a lot slower with a sigma value of 2. So, right from there, before we go any further, I can say this. HE is going to be your good best friend in this ship. The chance of fire with these at 12% is excessively high but not enough to actually want to punch myself in the throat. Um, next we have um, AA, we have 14 single 20s, uh, we have 6 dual, four, uh, dual 40 mils, um, 2 single 125 inches, 127s, um, 2 dual 5 inch guns, and that's it. So you got some singles and you got some dual, but there's a lot of dual bow fours on this thing. So your AA is pretty good for its tier, tier six. So it can actually keep up with the Ryujo and other carriers. Um, maximum speed 32.5 knots, pretty fast for a cruiser. Turning radius of the circle is 650 meters. Rotor shift at eight seconds. Surface detect 11.9 kilometers. Air detect 6.8, and detectability after firing, of course, is going to be 5.6. Now that's going to come with every of these new ships because remember, all the guns are 152, and the way that the game mechanics are is the size of your gun, your caliber, or the size of the barrel in this case 152 millimeters is coherent or or whatever to it um, to those in the smoke so the bigger the gun the bigger the circle smaller the gun smaller the circle case in point good done thank you we're done now to the next ship this will be let's let's do the tier 7 Helena now let's get out of this little sucker here and uh to talk about this Helena here. Helena is a little different than what I've been seeing. So, bear with it as I go pull this bad boy up. There we are. Ooh, that's Helena? Yes, that is Helena. So, Helena. Tier 7. Well, she's got a lot more guns. You can clearly see that. Um, we have now not one, not two, not three, not four, but five guns, it seems, on this ship. A little more modernized for a ship. Definitely still looking the American classic style. So we have a plating of 16 with a hut with a 51, uh, 51 belt armor, it seems, on this ship. It's not very big belt armor on this ship. But we do have a higher health pull, 33,300 with a torpedo reduction again, 4%. Uh, we have five 
of these triple 152 millimeter guns range is 14.6 AG is still 2200 with the chance of fire at 12% AP damage is again the same at 3200 Reload again is at 10 seconds and the rotation of the guns is 22.5 seconds Max dispersion is 133 meters HE shell velocity is 812 again and the AP is 762 with a miss sigma value of 2 now let's go over what I'm about to say and say this foremost. After two shifts we're talking about, and I'm just going running the stats right off the shoot of, from a hip, so to speak. It seems that the guns are going to be the same every single time for their mathematical calculations for their speed, the velocity, the accuracy, and the damage. That seems to be the going threat here. However, that doesn't mean that the gun aspects of reload might change. So that might be a different secure here. Now next, AA. We got 10 single 20s. We have four um, dual 20s. We have four dual 40 mils. So those the dual 40 mil bow fours. We got four twin 5 inches to 127, so you can clearly see them in this map uh, image. They're right in the side here. Those turrets right here are the 5 inches, so very primitive style to the new modern versions that they were upgraded years later. Um, and that's it. Uh, speed's 32.5 knots again. Now let's go play with a different ship at tier 7. Um, something a little more on the unique side, it seems. So, you have this ship, Helena, and then you pull this stunt on me. Here is the tier 7 American cruiser, Boise. Looks a lot like the Helena, and truth be told, it is. The only thing I can find that's different is really the speed and the turning circle it seems the guns are the same the velocity is the same the reload is the same the turning is the same the sigma value is the same the AA is the same however there's no 20 mils on the sides of this ship I mean 5 inches they're all 8 single 127 so you can see on the sides of this ship so it seems to be a previous version of this ship, more primitive so to speak. Still got the same health pull of course, but not as much on the AA department. The speed is slower at 30 kilometers, 30 knots, sorry. Turning circle is 810, water rush of 9.1, detectability 11.5, air detect 7.6, and again firing the guns at 5.6, because they are 152 millimeter guns. So we're down with that ship. Well, it's not sounding good, Rez. Well, we know tier 8. That's Cleveland. I mean, come on. We already knew Cleveland. But this guy be something else, right? Well, let me introduce you to this ship. The tier 9 of the line currently that we've been hearing about. This is the Seattle currently in testing. She has a uh, 40. 3,600 health, 25 millimeters of protection all around, 202 millimeters of uh, belt armor, torpedo reduction again, 4%. But you have now four triple 152s again. Um, fire range is 14.7. Um, unfortunately, oh yes, there it is. Same shell damage, but the reload has now been decreased to seven seconds. Same rotation of these turns, but now you can spam fire them a little more. A wise, well, you got something interesting here. You got 24 single 20s. You have 12 quad bow fours, and you have four twin 152s. So. You do have a plot for anti-air defense in this thing, so it actually could hold up on its own, but we'll see what happens. That's all you can really do. 
Now, let me also point out something else. This thing has damage control, hydroacoustic, and radar ability switch between the two, either hydroacoustic or radar. Defensive AA is standard locked and repair party at tier 10, tier 9, sorry. So, that's going to be interesting in the Seattle. It might interest me a little bit to play it, but we'll see what happens. Of course, there's also the tier 10. Ladies and gentlemen, your new tier 10. This ship I've seen photos of, and I've put a couple of them online, but I never really, we never had it in the game. Now we do. The tier 10, Warchester. Yep. A floating AA of scumbag evilness. Everybody remember Minotaur? Well, how about Minotaur with high explosive? This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how I feel about this ship already. So, here's what we got, okay? <clears throat> we have six twin 152mm guns, same range at 14.7. However, let me also point out as well, this thing has also deep, better torpedo protection. At now 19%, a health pool of 45,400, 25 millimeters of armor all over the ship, and the belt, I can't tell you, because the belt is hidden from me. But you also have the same shell chance and everything, but here's where this ship can shine. The turning of these guns, rotating wise, is 7.2 from 180 degrees, like the Minotaur, kind of bullshit. And then you get the reload time at 4.5 seconds. So these are going to be the most, basically a Super Atlanta and case. And on top of all that, it has very, very decent firing range and dispersion. Now let's also point out that its AA has 12 dual 20 mils as two uh, single 76.2 millimeter guns. It also has 11 dual 76.2 millimeter AA guns. So you get the single and the dual 72.60s. So those are basically the buffer bow fours that came out later in the war. And the six, the main guns as well, because you can see how big the uh, uh, position on the front of the ship is with those gun turrets, they seem to point straight up. Well, that's because they were designed to be also dual purpose AA. And they're pretty nasty at it. Alright, you also get a repair party, defensive fire, hydroacoustic and radar, and damage control. So basically to me, that ship is basically a span firing scumbag. So if you like your machine guns with lots of burning fire, yeah, you're going to be having fun. Best way to put it, my best friend once said is, if the best way to put these ships are, is basically, if you like the British cruisers, just if they, they had a child and that child can use both armor piercing, standard ammunition, and high explosive. Standard ammunition. Oh, by the way, there's no smoke. So, you're going to have to be entirely intelligent and not get shot. So, sweating bullets a little bit? Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> well, I think that's pretty much it. That's all the new cruisers. So, folks, when they fully bring out the lines and everything's officially shown, we'll go dive even deeper and we'll look into the armor aspects. But... I think pretty much we have a sums up situation of what we're going to have. Um, from what I've been told by sources, I can't promise you any of this, so for those who are here and made it this far, I applaud you. If you guys are still tuning in and listening, now's probably the time you want to open those little ears of yours. Um, for all I'm being told, the next patch is test server you might be able to play with one of the ships. I think it's the tier 9. And then the next following patch, you get to play the tier 10, which is this. And then after that patch will be the uh, release of these cruisers. So we're probably two patches away before we actually play with cruisers. Until then, guys, and ladies and gentlemen of the fellow seas, I hope you enjoyed this little video. 
Leave a comment if you guys want down below, you know, hit me up, subscribe, follow me, all that kind of fun stuff. I really want to see you guys in there. I'm always willing to talk to you guys all kinds of stuff, so feel free to make yourself known in there. Shout out like the devil if you want. As always, take care of yourselves. See you in the next video. Farewell.